getting off on this ramp here. Let's see if, oh, uh, you know what? The ramp still isn't fully. <laughs> Had to break pretty heavy there, folks. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Quick update, this is 2018.34.1, the newest version out there for um, the firmware. What I like about it, it's just bug, it, there's no new features, apparently it was just bug fixed, but there is some hidden features that Tessa didn't tell you about. For instance, um, autopilot, for everyone that has uh, advanced autopilot, now, when the nag comes on, I'm just going to get over here. When the nag comes on, I'll wait for it to come on and I'll show you. Uh, it comes on and it gives you the same message. Nothing's been changed with the message. But, let's wait for it to come on. But it allows you to, instead of just nudging the wheel um, when the nag comes on to get rid of the nag, you can actually do a few other things instead of touching the wheel. Because, as we know, when you touch the wheel, even though it locks in pretty good, there is still some movement that you can do in the wheel. Uh, and it does move the car a little bit. So, okay, so it says apply light force to the steering wheel, just like before. And here's what you can do. For one, you can do, 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 use a scroll. Now, I just went from 120 to 121, so it, it affects the speed. So you can do that. You can touch something on the scroll wheel. I think you can even do the volume one, too. It's funny, the nag comes on when you don't want it to, but when you're waiting for it to come on, like filming a video here, for example, the nag will not come on. What I want to show you is the steering, the stock, how you put it into drive, neutral, reverse, and all that kind of stuff, and how you put it into um, adaptive cruise control, traffic wear cruise control, or you put it into autopilot. Where's the nag? Okay, here's the nag. So, without touching the wheel, you just put down one little tap on the on the stock and the nag goes away so that's a new feature not a um, known by uh, Tesla people okay we're getting off on this ramp here let's see if oh uh, you know what the ramp still isn't fully <laughs> had to break pretty heavy there folks <laughs> uh, uh, I guess this is what happens when you film a video uh, autopilot didn't pick up on that ramp. It's a small little ramp. It's not like a two-lane or four-lane ramp. So I'll uh, give a pass to uh, autopilot on that one. Okay. What I was saying though is now to engage. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment below, folks, because I've only had this for three months. I'm not a long Tesla owner uh, with autopilot. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm pretty familiar with autopilot, I could be wrong. When you put it into autopilot. I always thought, and this is where I'm not 100%, I'm like 90%, that everyone knows, just like the steering, I mean, just like the signal stock here, uh, the one on the right-hand side, to put it to autopilot, it does two motions. It does the motion of going down once, where there's no resistance, or there's the motion of going down till it clicks. Let me show you what I mean when I turn this corner here. So what I'm trying to say, folks, is what I'm not sure about is before you had to go, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear it with uh, the speakers, they'll pick it up, but you do it like two notches almost. So what you used to do before is you, you push it down, and then you push it down again, and it does like a click, and it goes into like a second level of clicking. And that's how I was pretty sure it was before to put it into traffic aware cruise control or autopilot. Now, with this new update, you don't have to put it to that secondary level or that click. You can just do it a little tiny bit like that. So let me give you guys an example on these windy roads. Probably not on these windy roads, but uh, as soon as the autopilot becomes available, I will give an example. So one, two. I didn't do the, it didn't click down per se really hard into that second click. And we're an autopilot. Uh, if I wanted to just do uh, traffic wear cruise control, just do one click, but you don't even have to click it. It just goes down. So it's a little hard to explain what I'm talking about, but um, let me know in the comments below if you've encountered that too as a new feature in 34.1. Uh, other than that, everything else, autopilot seems to work uh, a little 
faster. Autopilot seems to work a little bit better. Um, uh, it's getting every every update is growing and growing. I uh, haven't noticed anything on the user interface, the UI, um, different. Not like the last one, they moved some stuff with the headlight symbols up here. This one, I don't, haven't seen anything different. So let me know if uh, you've noticed anything different in 34.1. And let me know if you've noticed just the difference. And I think it's also in the SNX too. Somebody was saying um, that the stock is different. So let me know if it's different for you for going into autopilot or traffic aware cruise control. You don't have to push down as hard. It's just like a half push. Thanks for watching, folks. That's all I got today. See you later.